race number five at Belmont Park. It is Perth race number 10 for our Singapore viewers. It's over the 1,000 metres. And again, a really intriguing field. I do feel it is between these higher numbers, uh, one to eight, probably the major chances. But as I said, it's going to be interesting to see how the tactics and the barriers do play out in this race. The replay that we're going to take a look at is Border Scott. Been pretty, pretty impressive the last two runs. It was a winner at Pinjarra by a half length and then came out and attacked the line strongly, finishing behind at Roman Fighter. And that's the run that we're going to take a look at now. Followed over on the outside by Trey Amici called upon and they've raced away from Border Scott one off the wood Roman Fighter led them by the 250 it snuck two and a half to three clear Trey Amici running on the outside into second placing Border Scott makes up ground from Jack and Sam then one off the wood but Roman Fighter too good for them is going to hold them all at bay Roman Fighter beat Border Scott stable secret so a good performance there by Border Scott ridden by Takahide Aikanushi keeps the ride again for Paige Kenny and if there's speed in this race which I think there will be this is a horse that can certainly rattle home late and play a part in this race as we saw it finishing second in that replay behind Roman Fighter. Horse number one, Pro Hearse Express for Brett Pope. Randy Tanter rides at just the 57 kilos. The last time this horse was over 1,000 metres was back on the 17th of June and it beat high limit by one and a half lengths. Tracking distance record two times for two wins as well. So does read very well for Pro Hearse Express. Number four, Trey Amici. We're expecting improvement last start. It comes out of that Roman fighter race. Finished fourth on that occasion so it was behind Border Scott as well and just a little bit disappointing. Patrick Carberry to ride. So MS10 rode last time so it actually gives Border Scott some weight in this race as well for that defeat but I am waiting for this horse to return to its best and if they go to the front that's when we might see it do its best work. Number five, Bache for Simon Miller, Peter Nucky to ride. This horse did string two together before going down to Queen of Choice by length and last start was only being a length as well by Angel Sky over the 1200 metres. The form lines are good enough. I think Bache is one we know has got that early speed and will certainly fight it out hard to the line. And number six, Nightingale Road was pretty impressive last start to attacking the line strongly with the 54 kilos and finishing one length behind Mad Asser carries the same here again with a claim to Clint Johnson Porter so it's just a matter of trying not to get too far back in the field. Let's take a look at selections for race number five. I'm going to tip number five, Bache. From number eight, Festive Excess. Gets in with a nice weight here with Jerry Noski ride just 53 and a half kilos from barrier three. Number one, Pro Hearse Express. And number four, Trey Amici. Race number six at Belmont Park. It is Perth. Race number 11 for our Singapore viewers. It's over the 1,650 metres. And an interesting race here because we've got horses like Take a Sip, which is a winner at Northern last start. Carries just the 52 kilos coming up against some of these horses that we know are proven. The likes of Midnight Shimmer, which has been in good form. Zoe Tom Taylor can't be too far away from that form we've seen before. And even a horse like Jetting to London, a winner two starts ago, and Wanderer, which always runs well for William Pike as well. So interested to see how Take a Sip does go against this quality field. Let's take a look at that victory last start. One by head, attacking the line strongly on this occasion, ridden by Clint Johnson Porter. She's at the top of the straight, being followed over on the inside then by Reigns Amonti. But as they went by the 350, Maggie's command was still going well in front. Hands and heels take a sip under the persuader. Is starting to dig in pretty hard however at the 200 Maggie's command joined by take a sip two lengths behind them sleeping assassin Daisy Express is finishing full of running it's Maggie's command kicking back from take a sip take a sip they got the bobbin I think really good performance there by take a sip for trainer Adam Durant drawn nicely in this race as well barrier two Jordan Turner to ride so just the 52 kilos and now it's just whether this horse is going to progress or over that 1650 metres against some of these older horses I've got no uh, concerns at all that she will be able to do that and certainly be competitive in this field. I don't mind number one at Midnight Shimmy here as well for Cliff Smith. Aaron Mitchell to ride so just the 56 and a half kilos. The last time we carried this weight in this distance and, and in this distance and grade, it finished third just a half length behind Futurism. Dropped back to the 1400 metres last start. Attacked the line strongly but the 1650 is ideal for Midnight Shimmy here from Barrier 7. Should get a pretty nice sit and I think it'll be rattling home quite strongly and as I said I think it'll be one of the main ones to beat. Zoe Tom Taylor well Clint Johnson Porter hops off take a sip to ride Zoe Tom Taylor. Just the 55 and a half kilos. We know that this horse has got quality. We're just waiting to see it this campaign. Will she bring it? We'll have to wait and see. But at her best, she'll be very hard to beat. And I mentioned number five, Wander, as well. Every time William Pike rides this horse, it puts in a pretty good run. The last start, it was third behind Sakura over the 1,200 metres as well. Since then, it has struggled. It's beaten eight lengths and three lengths as well in the recent runs. But as I said, I think we'll just see a different performance with William Pike riding from barrier four over the 1,650 metres as well. Let's take a look at selections for race number six and I'm going to be tipping number one, Midnight Shimmer. From number 13, Take a Sip. Number five, Wanderer. 
and number six, Chariot Queen. Race number seven at Belmont Park, it is Perth. Race number 12 for our Singapore viewers. It's also over the 1,650 metres. And again, really looking forward to this race. I don't give too many of the horses chances, but the one that are in the mix are certainly going to be very close and it should be a pretty competitive race. And I speak of the likes of Galaxy Sun, Vile Edition dropping back in distance. Jaspar has been racing really well. Lashilla second up with William Pike to ride. I think it's certainly going to be very hard to beat. The replay that we're going to take a look at is Galaxy Sun last start. Rattled home late. This was only over the 1,400 metres. Only lost to Military Ruler by one and a half lengths on a Saturday as well. Now we're trying to Adam Durant. We'll take a look at that run now. Five military Ruler, a further three moon search. Now coming back, he pulls him to the outside to set after the leader at the 250. Paris of Troy about to be gobbled up by Military Ruler though. Military Ruler raced alongside of Paris of Troy. Here comes coming back with a brilliant run on the outside, but Military Ruler has a length and a half to two on him. Coming back is cutting the margin down brilliantly. The post looms too late for coming back. Military really good performance. Performance here by Galaxy Sun has certainly been uh, consistent in recent runs. A winner four starts ago, follow that with a third, then a win, and then a third last start, as you saw in the replay there. And the win last start was over the 1,650 metres. This horse has a very good record over that distance. Three attempts for two victories and a third at the track and distance as well. Clint Johnson Porter to ride to just the 57 kilos. Gives a horse like Jaspara a little bit of weight for that victory, but it's all class, and I think it will certainly be very hard to beat. The other one I mentioned off the top as well, Vital Edition, Casey Hunter to ride to just just the 57 kilos here. I think they've now learned that the Ben Pierce day, but this horse just doesn't want distance. It is 16 to 1700 metres. It doesn't want to run 2000 metres plus, and they come back down to the 1650 now where you see the track and distance record of five attempts for three victories. A much better horse over this distance. Forget last run. It is certainly in the mix here. Jaspar had been in really good form as well, as I mentioned, was beaten by Galaxy Sun last start by that long neck. Carries her the 58 kilos here. Drawn out wide, but is a horse that will take the line strongly. And La Schiller, this is a horse that you'd normally like to be drawn out wide. Jump from barrier 11 last start, which is a positive. Can just work into it and cross. It's drawn in barrier 3 here, but does have the advantage of William Pike to ride. Second up, has won before. Obviously, the 1,650 metres first up was a big ask, but it was a very good performance finishing third. So, with William Pike, second up as well, I think La Schiller is going to be very hard. To beat. And that is the way that I'm going to take, uh, the, the way that I'm going to tip. So let's look at those selections. Number nine, Lashilla. From number two, Vile Edition. Number one, Galaxy Sun. And number eight, Jaspara. Race number eight at Belmont Park. It is Perth. Race number 13 for our Singapore viewers. It's over the 1,200 metres and a pretty competitive field to finish off as well. Fair way to Venus, so you know that she's always on us. So Big Caroline, be interested to see how she goes second up. And then Fathing Fast for Brian Kersey and uh, Tales of Summer, Regal Commander, other ones that are returning as well and certainly have put in some pretty good runs in recent times. The replay that we're going to take a look at is Tales of Summer. It was a recent trial winner by length. We'll take a look at that run now. Oxy about to pick up some ground. In the straight they run, though, on the leader is Tales of Summer. Again, joined by Paper Tiger. Tales of Summer, the inside, niggled at. Paper Tiger, the outside, is coming after Tales of Summer. And they're clear from Lady Trader. Tales of Summer in front, though, from Paper Tiger, Lady Trader, and late on the scene, Biloxi. And it's going to be Tales of Summer winning by one. Second home. Really good run by Tales of Summers. Drawn barrier nine here with the 59 kilos. This is a horse that can show plenty of speed early. You look at the form lines, obviously, was beaten by Leonora Sensation over 1,200 at Pinjarra, and then was beaten by Secret Nova by just three and a half lengths as well. So those form lines do read well. The weight, a little bit of concern at first up, but that trial was certainly good enough to suggest that this horse is ready to go and should put in a pretty good performance. Number seven, Regal Commander, does look very hard to beat here. Now trained by Adam Durant, Clint Johnson Porter to ride, so the 55 and a half kilos and the blinkers go on as well. This is a horse that, of course, raced in the listed breeders, carrying 56 that day, was only beaten three lengths by Belle LeV. So just on that stat alone, this horse should be pretty hard to beat. I'd be expecting him to attack the line strongly with that low weight and be one of the main contenders. Stefan's Don, we know he's got plenty of speed and should be able to cross him again. He's drawn out wide. Barrier 12 with the 58 and a half kilos, but he's second up and has a pretty good record as well. And number four, Fathing Fast. You look at the form lines that with Liberty Rise, I certainly read well. Just the 57 kilos with Jordan Turner to ride as well. So expecting that this horse should be able to attack the line strongly. Got up to the 2,000 metres last night. That was in the Mel Vista, the 2,200, but I think the ideal distance is around that 12 to 14 mark as well. So we'll see what Fathing Fast can produce this campaign. Let's take a look at selections. I'm going to be tipping number seven, Regal Commander. Very hard to beat. From number four, Fathing Fast. Number six, Tales of Summer. And number eight, Stefan's Dom. Well, that brings us to the end of another edition of Box Seat. So it's time now to take a look at the best bets. I'm going to be tipping race seven, number nine, Lashilla. William 
pint to Ryan, second up as one before. It was a very good performance first up over that 1,650 metres. And the best bet of the day does come up in the last race eight, number seven, Regal Commander. Blinkers on, Clint Johnston Porter claim as well. Trained by Adam Durant, I think we'll be finishing off in style. Make sure you do follow us on social media, at Perth Racing on Twitter for all of your late mail and selections. Also our Instagram and Facebook and perthracing.com.au for all of the information you can require about the races here in Perth. I'm Adam McGrath. Hopefully you found you a few winners. We'll be back again with another edition of Box Seat later on in the week.